So in order to summon structures, the first thing you need to do is either be on your single player world or in a world where you have admin. From there, we're going to need to open up the command menu. For PC, you will just need to press one button, which is the tab key, and then that will open up the command bar, the little black box on the bottom of your screen. For console players, you'll first need to open up the start menu, and then if you're on Xbox, you need to go L, B, R, B, X, and Y at the exact same time to open up the command bar. And then for PS4, it is L1, R1, triangle, and square. And then from there, you simply need to type in the admin password, request admin, and then you can go ahead and use your commands. Now, if you are on PC, a little bit different, open up the command bar, type in enable cheats space, then the password, and then enter that in. And then from there, you'll be able to go cheat whatever admin command you want from then on out. From there, your next goal is to go to the command bar and type in cheat GCM and then activate the admin command. Now, there is also a shortcut. If you enable the code on your server, show creative mode, it will actually appear here on the start menu. So once you do hit start, hit enable creative mode, and then you'll go straight into it, making life a little bit easier on you. Now, once you're in creative mode, you'll need to pull out the admin rifle. And if you're using a controller, you'll need to use the left trigger to flick it to red. And if you're on PC, you'll need to use the right click on your mouse to swap it to red. Now, once that is done, the next goal is to then look at the structure you wish to summon. So in this case, it is a tech generator. And then once highlighted, you'll see the structure ID, which you can see right now for this is storage box underscore tech generator C. Now, something to keep in mind is your server must have crosshairs enabled or this admin gun won't work. So make sure you've got that enabled. We've got the structure ID. So your next goal now is to go back to the command bar and type in cheat summon and then the ID itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly type it in. So there you go. Cheat summon storage box underscore tech generator underscore C. Hit enter. So from there, now we're going to go type in admin command and bam, there you go. You have just now summoned in your first structure. Now, the next step to this actually is we need to give ownership of this structure to us because right now this structure does not belong to anyone. So to do that, what you're going to need to do is go back to the start menu, open up the command bar and type in cheat give to me. There it is, typed it in, go ahead, admin command and there you go, now we own the structure. It is important to note that not everything can be summoned in, such as you cannot summon water pipes, as well as some structures can only be spawned on their map of origin. For example, the city terminal is only spawnable on extinction. Now, to make your life easier, I have included a link in the description to the list of all the current summonable structures. Secondly, some structures, when you spawn them in, for example, the oil pump, will spawn on you. And you'll be kind of stuck inside until you actually use another command. So what you need to do to get out of this situation is go into the command bar. And you'll need to type in this cheat called cheat ghost. And then type it in. All right, then once done, activate the admin command. And then you can simply then now walk out of it. So, what are the main reasons people use summonable structures? Well, the first reason is people can then make floating bases out of it. You know, which they can use, you know, for their own personal or for like raid bases, stuff like that. The second reason people use summonable structures is to build in no building zones, such as the Rag Labyrinth, to make things a little bit easier on people, such as lighting the path, or just by, you know, giving them a smithy or two within the pathway. And then the last reason people like to use summonable structures is to add certain resources to the map, such as adding oil pumps to the island, or adding them to a community center where people then can gather the resource. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this helped you out, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.